Hello, this is Nathan with Rocky Mountain Twist and Montana Brand Tools. And today what we're gonna do is a bit of a scientific comparison on different impact rated drill bits. So impact tools are very common in the marketplace now. They're compact, very powerful, last a long time, and they're popular with end users because if you're driving with them, they have very little felt torque. They're not trying to tear out of your hands. But that same amount of power and feedback or lack of feedback can also be an issue if you're drilling with this because you don't realize that drill's gotten stuck or, or hung up on something. So if you're drilling with a knot or a nail or you're breaking through a piece of steel, at that moment when that drill binds up, and this tool continues to do what it does best, can differentiate whether your drill is really impact rated or not. So what we've got today is an impact drill. We'll note here while we begin that it is fully charged and we'll check that as we go along. We've got different name brand drills from the uh, marketplace, Craftsman, Milwaukee, Bosch, DeWalt, and of course Montana brand, all new in the package. So what we're gonna do is open the product up couple it into the vise, clamp down on it, run it for 10 seconds, figuring that's sort of a worst case scenario if somebody's not paying attention. And we're gonna see what happens to these tools when that worst case scenario happens. So the first package here, Craftsman. That didn't make it very long. Got uh, part of the tool on the floor and the rest stayed put but you can see here that it's got at least one index, so it's at least a 60 degree bend before that failed in uh, certainly under three seconds. That's Craftsman. Milwaukee. Check our drill, still full power. Reset, and here we go, 10 seconds. Okay, you spun in the vise there for a second, but ended up with a not so favorable result on Milwaukee once we clamped down on that. There's the Milwaukee shank. About uh, a little more, maybe 70 to 80 degrees of rotation before shearing off. Up next, Bosch. Same battery, same power levels. Wash tool secured, timer reset, 10 seconds. This was Bosch's tool. Also about 70 to 80 degrees of rotation in there. Up next, DeWalt. Set the stopwatch, 10 seconds. Or not. There's the waltz. Quite a bit of twist to that. Probably in excess of 120 degrees. Last but not least is Montana brand. Okay, let's get a good look at this shank before we start. With everybody else, what you have is basically hex into a straight reduction. With Montana brand, you've got this tapered radius that's one of the key features of this bit that helps dissipate those impact forces and also helps to strengthen the bit from a standpoint of torsional effects. Still a full charge battery. Reset the stopwatch and Go for 10 seconds. Well, that's probably it. There you have it. So other packages may say that they're impact rated, but Montana brand, well, I think the results speak for themselves. So you can ask yourself, which ones do you really think are impact rated? So we've got Craftsman, 
showing about 60 degrees of rotation before shear failure. Milwaukee, showing about 60 degrees of rotation before shear failure up in the shank. Bosch, showing probably 80 degrees of rotation before shear failure in the ball groove, although beginning shear failure further up the shank. So maybe they're confused when they say two times life because you get twice as many parts, but that's not quite what they were going for. DeWalt, you've got quite a bit of rotation. Actually, it works out to around 150 or 160 degrees before shear failure in the shank. And Montana brand taking uh, over 20 seconds worth of punishment is completely unscathed and ready to do the next job. So which one do you think is a better value?